Templates are a great way to streamline your workflows when you find yourself sending the same documents for signature over and over again. To create a template from the home page, select Create a Template in the lower right hand corner. Now upload the document or documents you would like to create a template out of. You can upload directly from your computer, use a cloud storage option such as Dropbox, or a simple drag and drop. Once you've uploaded your documents, select Next. Now you want to add in who in theory is going to be signing these documents, since you don't want to add in someone's specific information at this point. So for the social media policy, I'm going to have a company representative and an internal representative. You'll have the same options that you do when creating a one-off request so being able to request attachments, as well as set signer order. Setting signer order will just simply determine who will sign first, second, third, and so on. If you do not enable setting the signer order, all of your signers will receive the request as it hits their inbox, and they will not have to wait for anyone else to sign their document. Once you've added your signer roles, select Next. Within the editor, you will have all of your signer fields on the left hand side and you can place those down as needed. With a template, if you would like to pre-populate information on this template, you can use the drop down to select Me Now. If you use the Me Now option, it's important to note that this information will stay static on every single request. So it will be the same information that will be pre-populated on all requests using this particular template. If you have information that you would like to pre-populate that would change every time, you can select Sender. For this, I'll select Sender and Text Box. Place my text box here. And now on my right-hand side, under Merge Fields, I'll have a brief description of what I would like to be pre-populated in this specific text box. So for this, it would be Company Name. Now. When a user goes to use this particular template, they will be prompted to fill out this information before sending. Be sure to have at least one field assigned to each role that you have created for this template. So for company representative and for internal representative. Once you've placed all of your fields down, select next. Now review your information, such as your signer roles, so your company representative and your internal representative. Next, you'll want to add a title for your template. And if you'd like, you can also add an additional message. Both the template title and message will be something that the individual user will be able to update when using this to send for signature. When you've completed this last step, select Save Template. 